what we're going to have a look at here is creating our topo surface or in effect a front garden on our property. What I'm going to do first of all is just draw the outline with our detail lines but it's very difficult to see because we've got the roof in the way. So I'm going to click on the roof and down the bottom of the screen click on that and say hide element and that just temporarily hides it in this view and now look I can see the external walls of the property which will make it much easier for me. I'm going to now use the detail model lines and I'll use the rectangle, click on the external corner of our house, come out and just make this about nine meters and the width of the house. If you don't get the exact size you want straight away, don't worry, you can just click on that, click there. So there is front garden. Now, I'm assuming that this could well be a terraced property, so therefore I've not extended the garden beyond the sides. What I'm now going to do is go to Massing and Site and Topo Surface. We've got the elevation, zero. I'm going to leave it on that, and I'm going to put a dot in each corner, like so. And then press the big green tick. OK, now what I want to do is just get rid of those detail lines. So I'm just going to drag the mouse over from left to right and press delete and try it on this side. Yeah, there we go. Just going to be careful I don't delete any other elements. So just really, there we go, extra care just in case I highlight something else. Zoom in a bit for this one. And that's those just deleted. <clears throat> so now if we have a look in our 3D view, we have our garden extending from the front of the property. OK. But we have got it at the wrong level at the moment. As we can see, we've intended for our ground level to be at minus 150. So we can correct that by clicking on here, edit the surface. OK, and what we need to do is to highlight these individual little points so we can do them collectively just by dragging around them like that. Or you can click on them each individually. And we'll just change that to minus 150. And as we can see, that has dropped down, giving us those two bricks visible by there. OK. But now we can see a few things. Well, first of all, it's a very ugly brown colour. Not very pleasant. Also, the surface is just one big surface, while as in reality, I think I would want here perhaps a little parking space for a driveway, maybe a bit of grass, a little pathway. So we want to think about that. So let's go back to our site plan. And what I'm going to do here, now we've got options. We could split surface or subregion. Now, subregion is the one I'm going to use. This will enable me to create a separate little section. What I would like to do is to have this create a path and a driveway. So I'm going to come down a couple meters, go across, now this pink line needs to be a closed loop. So you've got to have 
trying to just get the there we go so you can't have any crisscrossing you can't have any gaps in the pink line okay let's have a little look now that is four meters by there i don't need it to be four meters i'll just make it three meters there so we can have a, a bit of a larger garden area by there then let's press the grid tick Okay, now let's change the material of this section. So over here in the properties, material by category, click on that and I'll make this one a tarmac. Oh, hasn't got tarmac in there. Um, let's have a little look. So asphalt maybe. There we go. We'll just go for that. Click OK. Let's have a little look at it in 3D. So now we can see we've got our road surface for our parking area and around there. Now this area, I might subdivide this a bit further. What I'm going to do is have a green grassy area, perhaps then some flowers around the edge. So let's go back to our site plan, do another subregion. And I'll use the rectangle again. And there we go. And then the material for this one. Now, no grass. OK, so what can I do? Well, what you'll need to do, first of all, is to go away and find um, an image of some grass on Google. Copy that image. Now make sure you get an image where you're looking directly down at the grass. I would then usually copy that into something like Microsoft Publisher and save it as an image from there. So I'm going to create a new material now down by here. Default new material, right click, rename, and let's call it grass. OK, so now I got on the appearance over here, click on image. And you want to find where you've saved this image. Let's have a little look. Grass, there we go. OK, now the colour, I'm going to change from that to a green colour. And then I'm going to go into the graphics and just change these colours to the same green as well. OK, let's say OK to that lot. And now let's have a little look. I've changed the material to grass by there. Let's look at it in 3D. And we can see we now have a green area for our grass. So that covers setting up the top surface, splitting the surfaces or creating some subregions and changing the materials of those subregions.